Morning. <laughs> right, morning. We are back at Grantham yesterday, which was Monday. Me and Drew had an absolutely mad day just getting all the brickwork up to a decent height to really push the job along. The scaffold's booked for Thursday. So today we're going to be focusing getting this up to scaffold height here. Follow me. We're also going to be setting out the front of the house as well. We've got a big window matching the back, which is sand. Only issue is I'm just working off a very, very dodgy scaffold. But, you know, it's one of them. You can't do anything about it. Conco! Yep. Is it? Yeah. You guys get mixed in there. Where do you want it, bro? Yes. Nice one. Like I say, massive push this morning. Again. What's happened, Isaac? <laughs> I forgot my tray. Oh, my <laughs> oh, which is so annoying, but I need to support it now. So basically, um, 150 mil above this lead detail. So in this course here, uh, I've right, got yeah. on a, uh, a tray and then put weed poles in. It's the same situation with the steel. Uh, it's just so water and moisture don't go into the cavity. But I was that focused on trying to get stuff done <laughs> today that I just totally forgot about it. But it happens to the best of us. Yeah, man. No one's perfect. Not even me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Again. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have sorted our tray out. We built it in, um, so that's good. Only about a 10 minute muck up, so just one of them. That's a problem with working on your own. You've got no one else to check your work. <laughs> so you've got to keep an eye out yourself. Um, I'm just setting out my window now. It's exactly the same as that one back there. So I've got another 660 pillar, two brick pillar that side. And I tell you what, we've only got to get five courses on now, and then we've got to be ready for scaffold. Oh, so wicked, we're yeah. off. We'll be on block work in like five minutes. Well, I say five minutes, about an hour. Yeah. But yeah, buzzing, sand, right. What time is it as well? About 10. Best scaffold, courtesy of me. I've only got one more course after this anyway, so. Yeah. That's that, honestly, see what I mean? That's what happens to me, I haven't got a king board or just one board to work on. Oh, it's just what I meant, isn't it? Mm. What do I say, Drew? Solutions? Not problems. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This isn't really a solution though, is it? Uh, <laughs> Health and safety risk. a death trap, but I... <laughs> Check you, filming, passing bricks. Yeah. Oh, on you go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sand. Right, so we have got this up to scaffold height. I need, there is two more courses on my corners, but I can't bother to stretch up and kill myself, especially with that big trowel. The front is up to scaffold height as well. Come on, Drew. This up to scaffold height, set this window out the same as that window over there. And you asked earlier, didn't you, Drew? Yeah. I've raked this out because my lead detail is just going to go straight in there. 
Okay, and then I've got my wee poles, which we did put in in the end. Um, I need to give them a clean, but we've got our wee poles in and our tray detail. And in the future, not quite just yet, I've also just raked these joints out because there's going to be like a really small gable here, Drew. Yeah, okay. So that's going to come out, that's going to come out, and that's going to come out. And we'll just go have a tiny little cut up for the little roof. But yeah, sad. Now we're going to go smash a load of block work and probably see the day out. Sad. Right, let's crack on. You see how I've got a few voids in the back of my brickwork, right? Yeah. Which, you know, it happens at sand. You get a bag, right? And instead of knocking all your snots off, right? This is still good compost and it's still usable. So you literally... Oh, right, okay. You can rub. It's called bag rubbing. You can use a hand if you want. You can literally just rub all the compost, what's hanging out, into the empty spots. Okay? Mm -hmm. So... I don't know that. Yeah, you can. Oh. I mean, it's, it's really good practice. And on site, this is like um, a massive thing, um, what they really like to see. But yeah, it just saves like a few minute job, but it keeps their house like more airtight and warmer. And obviously your brickwork's stronger because you've got no voids in it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Morning, right, so yesterday we got all the block work to a decent height. Today we're going to carry on smashing out all the block work. Uh, set some starter packs up, just get all the insulation in, just do all the bullshit really today. So it's going to be a pretty steady day, but you are going to be busy, Drew, cleaning. Yeah. And just generally sorting the job out. How did you find your first block yesterday? Good, man. It was uh, really difficult, though, getting uh, <laughs> with get the trial there. and that. <laughs> You'll get there, honestly. Right, Sam, we best crack on. Sand. So, what have we done so far? I've put three courses on there, so I've got that up to ten. I've set that window out over there, so that's all sorted. And now I'm literally just doing the exact same thing here, apart from this time, I'm going to build this tray in, and it's going to lap onto probably that block there. Well, no, it'll actually lap a course higher, and then I'll brick over that at some point. Boom. So far, pretty steady day, isn't it? Mm. But we like, i get some laying done. This is like acting as my line now. So I'm going from that point there, which I know is plumb. Yeah. And I'm going from this point here, which I know is plumb. Give it a little tap. It's only coarse. It's wanting to come out because of the insulation, you see. Right. Oh. Hey, check that out, bro. That's not bad. Hey. It's not bad. Yeah, see that? Yeah. Plump. <laughs> we'll stop it there. <laughs> so in this case, you know, because it's only like a 
one block filler. Yeah. Yeah, or two brick filler. It's really like skinny, isn't it? Yeah. And not very strong. So I'm putting these, obviously, every course. My starter pack ties, yeah? Yeah. So that's going to hold it to this. And then I'm also putting two ties out every course as well. Just right. So it's really strong and connected through the brickwork. Yeah. So otherwise, if I only stuck one out, it'd still be pretty strong. But in this case, it's basically the more the merrier. Okay. <laughs> I should call her, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's pretty much us done here. All the block work is pretty much up to high. We are ready to sit the lintels on. We've got just one course of brick to go on there. Scaffold's going up tomorrow. Back here Friday to blast the brickwork up to lintel high. Then all we've got to do is stick the soldiers on one course to and one course above that and then it's wall plate and roof gable so i reckon we've got about four working days left here so not long left at all but yeah sam that's pretty much this video done like subscribe all that stuff follow me on instagram as well sand nice one